from the from the from the Grafana Grafana Docker Docker containers, the container application. So you can CLN. I clean it, and maybe we can we can Docker. We can write down some. So process it. We can see also the how it look like the Prometheus log uh, log informations. So we can see process it Docker logs, and then we can pass the container ID from the Prometheus application. <clears throat> so let's see the Prometheus application, what is running and how it is be done, how it is be handled, the things, and then all the information it has in the, in the container the Prometheus YAML files and then also the, uh, the database storage information and also the, the port number information, how it is beyond the Prometheus information. So every execution uh, that we are running and it is the it is handle the, 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 the your visualization tools with the actuator and then your micrometers and then your Prometheus can be visualized and then after the visualization of Prometheus, you can also connect it with the uh, with the with the with the Gafana uh, from the from from the from the Gafana to the Prometheus application. That's the things we, we need to be clarify. We need to understand uh, how it is works. So you see the basic understanding how the how the Gafana is running. So we will discuss how the Gafana need to be run. Just like this very simple commands: the Docker run name so Gafana, and then and hit the application is running. And also you can also run the uh, the the Prometheus application does Docker run the name of the the containers and then detach mode port numbers and pass the where the your pom dot uh, Prometheus PAF EML file is definition is there and then also you can simply run that once and after the running the application then you can visualize the all the matrix information that's 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 you need to be uh, defined there so it's to see the Prometheus EML file that's there. So we can also go local logs and images and so on and so forth and then after that if you this is uh, the command modes and you also you can check also the 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 docker desktop tools ui tools you can also visualize the all the information that you read image says your application is running if his application is not running then you have the exception ex excluded exited and then so on and so forth because the application is running after the application is running the basic understanding you need to be checked the uh, the, the application is, is a Spring Boot application is running and you can check it the Prometheus information even though you can also the check the health information so of your application you can check it like the health 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 information the is a Spring Boot application is running you see exactly what we are expecting the Spring Boot application running with the with the specified uh, it's, 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 it's see that the application is up and then with the Postgres database and so on and so forth. All the matrix information, all the bin information is there. And then you have the Prometheus information and then you can Grafana if you have this application is like, uh, is like that. So it has like double host. This is the Grafana I'm in 3033 and has the log information. Default is the is the, is, the, is the admin and admin you can lock it and then you can also configure the your micrometer visualization so i will show you the how can you uh, configure the micrometer import from the from the grafana so you see the micrometer import we can also import the uh, you know, unchange you know we cannot do it we will we will see later we will do the later part so and then we have the 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 ui that's where i already discussed that your application is being application 3030 application and the swagger ui is running and also your application and also you can also the models information that's you already defined into the UD, uh, spring boot implementation application implementations and then uh, we can also visualize the log information because we are running the intellij uh, in, in, the, in the console you can see the all the tracking information your your application and those information you can also visualize into the Prometheus and also the Grafana tools how the the SQL execution is running how it is be done how it is be handled so those things is can is possible 
So that means we 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 will we will start uh, the configuration, the, our our my our our Spring Boot application configuration, and start the development. How can you configure? How can you start the development? Then then we will get uh, the our application to the the Prometheus and the Kafana. So let's let's continue the application structure. How can you build this application? How can you run the application? This is the case. I am just running the application in the, into the very simple, um, not uh, not using the Docker, Docker Docker Compose or Docker Kubernetes. But I will do the next part. How can you? Uh, I will did it. But but this case I just uh, it started the. How can you simply in the in the make the standalone jar files? And run the standard jar file with the external configuration. That's I already discussed, but I will show you later again how can you do it because you see that all the configuration is there. So that means if you, if you see the in database level, the PG admin level, you see the our exactly the what we are expecting. It has all the all the the uh, database migration uh, migration possibility. If I go there, the dynamic migration. So you see the there is some data is there. So I already did some test with the with the Swagger UI and the Postman test. There is some data, and then uh, we have some another uh, the role test, and also we can check it like the the how the history look like to some execution. We can do like select select star from the from the uh, from the flyway. Uh, fly uh, way fly way underscore schema schema history history tables uh, it is the flyway so it's taking our migration version number how is the migration look like it's really properly programmed or properly designed uh, it's scripted you see uh, as you see that the five version that we exactly define into the into the, our 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 projects like here yeah, these are five versions with the flyway database migration uh, uh, structures so it is it is it is properly into the database level so I recapping just like what we need to be do so it's database migration is properly working our jack function is working and our sequence created proper professional sequence creations what we have created into the sequence creation the different versions you see the sequence user role detail user role profile and so on and so forth everything is really properly handled and properly works so and also previous screencast i already discussed how can you make such a installation with pg admin and then post this database into the windows machines but into the docker docker uh, compose or docker kubernetes you just simply take the that is docker image and then and install the your Spring Boot application and link to the your backend data servers. Doesn't matter is the PostGIS data server or is MySQL database server depending which which driver your JDBC driver you are using is automatically doing the same things. That's what we are doing with the with the PostGIS database server in the backend server. So that means we we will we will continue the the, the developments. Uh, we, we 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 get the overall idea how it is work need to be done, and then on then now we will start the the real implementations, the configuration implementation of the your Spring Boot applications, uh, like that this application. How can you configure? How can you start? How can you build these projects? And how can you structure these your, your applications? Maybe give a short overview the. Uh, the, the structure of the project implementation steps, not the detailed implementation steps. But for the detailed implementation, I had a different screencast. You can follow that one and get the detailed screencast view. I don't like to cover again this all detailed information, but I believe it really, really, uh, really the more detail uh, for the for the for the monitoring uh, like uh, like monitoring with the actuator and then Prometheus and the Gafana monitoring of your microservice application. That's the main idea for this thing.